What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about the Great Plains color schemes. We're kind of a little bit different than other bow companies in that we have standardized color schemes. There are some others that have that like we do. A lot of people will think that, say for instance, the Rio Bravo, they think that that is a bow in itself. The Rio Bravo is not a bow in itself, it is a color scheme. You can get it uh, straight across in all of our bows. You can get the Rio Bravo, you can get the Black Hawk, the Red River Grade, the Cazador, El Dorado, Pelo Duro. All of those are color schemes. This is a Rio Bravo B model one piece recurve. So Rio Bravo always means Bacote. That's the main wood that's going to be used in it. Bacote, this one always is going to have the black cap uh, made of FR4, Bacote limbs, Bacote grip, and then it's going to have yellow accents. So that's, that's your standard typical Rio Bravo color scheme. We build show bows or in stock bows that are not our typical color schemes. A lot of times on in-stock bows, we'll just put together uh, collars that we think look great together and knock them out. This is a Swift Long Curve, and it's got walnut limbs with a curly maple riser. This is a pretty simple bow to build because there's no glue-ups in the riser. So a bow like this, we can build fairly quickly. So we'll run, do a run of these, we'll put them on the in-stock site, and we'll just simply call this uh, Maple and Walnut Swift Long Curve. Um, it doesn't have one of our standardized color schemes to it. Also, if we're doing something really special like buckeye bows, burled bows, show bows, we don't throw a color scheme on them and name them something like the Apache or the you know, Osage and something like that. If we make it out of buckeye burl, uh, we'll just write on the limb somewhere, buckeye burl, three-piece swift. The Kiowa always comes in this color. A rosewood of some kind, usually it's more of the, the brown or medium brown tones, so you're going to have Grenadillo or Chechen. Mainly either one of those two is going to be in the riser. It's going to have black glass with a bamboo core, and it's going to have that red lamination stripe through it that's made out of red Dymalux. We can do upgrades to the Kiowa um, for a little bit extra. Still not as much as a fully custom bow you know, just to make it economical. We can add some different colors in here for the customer. We've done a lot of Kiowas where we actually use clear glass even and put some pretty veneers under there. Still call it a Kiowa, uh, mainly because it has the, the, the straight glue up. There's no curved radius profiles in the riser glue up. The Cazador is gonna be rosewood in the riser. The rosewood family covers a lot of different species. You've got the Honduras rosewood, um, I believe Chechen's a rosewood, uh, Brazilian rosewood, you got Granadillo's a rosewood. A lot of those are in the rosewood family, so it's going to be a rosewood riser. And then on the Cazador, you got a choice. If you're going to get the standard Cazador colors, you got a choice of Giant Moso Bamboo or Dirty Bamboo, Limb Cores and Veneers, or Pacific U. That's the Cazador. Now the Pelo Duro in the 3P Swift, it's going to have either walnut or mesquite limbs and a solid Cocobolo riser. This is a three-piece swift. It's got stippling on the, on the riser. It's got a little deer head carved in it. Fantastic bow. This particular bow comes with two sets of limbs and it is for sale. Um, so this would be our Palo Duro scheme in the three-piece swift. Now, the Palo Duro in the one-piece B model is a little bit different. Still same wood species, but it's just a little different layout. I'll show you that. Mainly these color schemes pertain to the same species in the bow, just different mix-ups. So here you've got a Pelo Duro one-piece B model, and you can see once again, Cocobolo riser. This particular one has an FR4 cap and walnut limbs. Still the same wood species. Cocobolo, either walnut or mesquite limbs, and there's some black FR4 in it, just like there was a three-piece Swift. Now an Eldorado in a three-piece bow is always gonna be rosewood, Paul Amarillo and FR4 with black glass limbs in the recurves. Now in the longbows it's a little bit different. The Eldorado in the recurve is yellow tones. Um, the Eldorado in the longbow is red tones. You still got your Coca Bolo, you still got your black glass, um, but you can see there's red laminations in there. All of the bows at Great Plains were named after either John Wayne movies or rivers and canyons in Texas. So there's a rich history there of the bow names at Great Plains Bow Company because this company originated in Texas. The Red River Gray is always gonna be a gray wood. We're either gonna use 
pressure dyed maple, like in this one, or we're gonna use gray Dymalux in the riser. Um, your limbs are always gonna be clear glass with Spectraply cores and veneers underneath the glass. And then it'll always have red access. So the accent, sorry. So the Red River Gray is gonna look pretty much like this. There's variations a little bit. Straight across the board, it's gonna actually be the color red and gray. The Great Plainsman is gonna have Coca-Bolo and Rosewood handle. It's going to have either red elm or cedar veneers. That's a typical Great Plainsman right there. The Black Hawk will have Bacote wood in it and the veneers and the riser with black and red accents. And that's straight across the board, recurves or longbows. The Black Hawk is gonna look like this. We do have a new color scheme that we just came up with last year. The Rio Lobo has a solid FR4 riser with black glass and a bamboo core. This bow is incredibly stable because you got a little more mass in it where typically a swift long curve weighs about a pound and a half. This is about two and a quarter to two and a half pounds because you've got all that FR4 in the riser making up the mass. So what that does is that makes an incredibly stable, consistent bow. It's, it's very, it's totally uh, shock free and consistent on the shots, shot after shot. There's some other color schemes that I didn't talk about simply because I don't have those in stock. One of my favorites is the Texas Hunter, which that one has mesquite limbs. The Osagian, let's start with the longbow. It's, it's, a, it's got a bamboo core and it's got Osage veneers and it's got Osage and Cocobolo grip and then it's got Osage and Cocobolo accents. Now, there are some guys that really, really get down to the basics and they want a solid Osage orange that goes by Hedge Apple, Bodark. Um, it's got a lot of history behind it. The, the, the Plains Indians used Osage in their, in their bows quite a bit. Also, the self bowyers use Osage a lot in their self bows. It's a great wood to chase the grain with a draw knife. It's a fantastic looking wood. It's very, very snappy. If you put it in a bow, it performs a lot better with a bamboo core. However, we do build solid Osage bows with, a, with an Osage core, Osage veneers, and you know the Cocobolo accents for the guys that want to just go back to the heritage of it and the roots of it and have solid Osage. We do that. It doesn't perform quite as well as using a bamboo core, but it's a drop-dead gorgeous look. One thing about Osage that I'll just mention here briefly is that it will darken over time. Um, within about five years, it, it loses its bright yellow color and turns kind of a, uh, I would say a medium brown, depending on the species. Also depending on where you store your bow. If you have your bow sitting in front of a window with a lot of light shining on it, it's gonna darken much, much faster than if you have it back in a closet somewhere in a climate controlled environment out of direct sunlight. It's gonna maintain its golden color for a lot longer. The Osagian is a very popular color scheme at Great Plains. Which is, also, which is why I do not have one in stock, because they sell right away. If you guys wanna reach out to us, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're trying to grow our YouTube channel. Really, really excited about it. Please go on there, please subscribe. So you can message us and on any of the social media platforms. You can call my cell number, it's on the website. Give us a call at the shop. We'd be glad to help you find a bow or even just talk to you about traditional archery and, and uh, help you learn how to choose which arrows you want to shoot, which bow you want to shoot, anything you need. Thanks for watching.